Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is March 25th, 2017. We're here on the gorgeous map of Gorodok for a lovely event called Fish Hook. And this is Squad Ops. My name is Muff. I'm going to be talking at you tonight. And alongside me is Xbit. Say hi, Xbit. Hello, viewers. <laughs> He is going to be watching the Russian forces for this first round of Operation Fishhook, and I'm going to be watching the militia forces. We'll go over a lot of what's going on here shortly. As you can see, a lot of the militia and Russian forces are running around doing briefing, getting set up, trying to organize for the start of this match. But let's go over some real quick brief main rules for Operation Fishhook. Both parties, factions, militia and Russia both will start at their main bases with the exception of a Russian counter intel force which is in the Foxtrot Gulf 6 and 7 grid squares. So there's four giant grid squares that they can hang out in. Now there's a kicker. They only get a recruit kit. And this means that they only get two magazines for their guns. And that's it. And they don't get any bandages. So if they get shot, they're going to bleed out unless they can get a friendly near them. So it's going to be rough if they get in contact. Their main goal is to stay out of sight and wait for a rescue force. That's not always the case, but that's what they're, they're going to try to do. You can, bet, you can bet money. What else do we have? In the in the fancy case that they do get rescued, which happens, or, or picked up, escorted, whatever you'd like to say, their exfil is going to be an Echo Key 3 Pad 9. And there's an apartment building. Right on a, right on a road here. And actually I'm gonna I gotta join a squad. There we go. But it's gonna be right in here. Echo six key pad nine. Little apartment complex right south of this giant refinery so it is just a beautiful combat area in there up and down it's great to see all vehicles all infantry must use bridges and the counter intel team for the russians cannot leave that foxtrot gulf keep uh grid six and seven area those four those four areas Militia's main, Russia's main. With that, that's that's it. Everything else is pretty much a go, as long as the vehicles and infantry use bridges. Let's go over the, the assets. I'm watching Militia. They're going to have uh, the squad off staples, two automatic riflemen and a medic per squad. They're also going to get a lat and a scout. Uh, the scouts are going to be great for checking out the distances because it's a big map, nice open areas, real fun. Uh, vehicular wise, they're going to get two APC and VSTs. Uh, MT MTLBs, I think they're called also. Uh, the track right, vehicles. They're going to get a Dishka Techie and an SPG-9 Techie. So actually, I'm, flo I'm floating right over all four vehicles that they get right here. They've got them lined up on the no road, nice and pretty. Two track vehicles, real loud, easy to hear from far away, but they can do some damage. And, and actually, I'll kick her over to Xbit. He's going to tell you what the Russians are going to be, uh, what they're going to be rescuing their team with. So the uh, Russian squads get two ARs, one GL, one LAT, one Medic. Uh, they also get uh, two times the APC with the NSVTs, which are the MTLBs, just like the militia. Uh, they don't get anything else except for a transport truck. So they're sort of limited on their, their mobility, but uh, uh, watching uh, the match this afternoon at the EU session, uh, these uh, the N NSVTs uh, were tearing each other up, so it should be fun to watch tonight. Oh, yeah, there's, they are always a source of action, that's for sure. And you're right, there is no not a lot of other vehicular support, just the transport. So it's... It's interesting. They, they have to work hard to go rescue their guys. And then uh, I'm staying with command back at the expel. One of the APCs is going to go pick up the recruits, and the other APC is going to be 
All right, so I think Xbit's team has now dropped off their four recruits. Actually, I think I can see him from this side. I sure can. Looks like there's a couple ops guys. Who do you got over there? Who is the recruit squad, Xbit? Let's see. We've got the uh, Dr. Kamikaze squad lead and uh, Pukachev, Faku, and Sir Loin are the recruits tonight. Nice. That's going to be good. They and, and between all four of them, they only have eight magazines for their guns. So they have to be very careful. You can expect them to just hide and run and take cover until reinforcements arrive to get them out of there. So Dr. Kamikaze is one of the squad leaders. Uh, who's commanding over there? Let's go over the command. Uh, Creeping's commander tonight. Uh, Hutch is the squad lead, squad one, then Lish, Krusty the sailor, and Dr. Kamikaze with those recruits. All right. Well, that is five experienced players right there. Creeping has commanded plenty before. Hutch created this op. Big, big shout out to him. He made this op and updated it for version nine. So uh, it's turned out great. So big shout out to him. Lish always commanding and squad leading. Uh, Krusty as well. Always, a, always a reliable squad leader. And Krusty and Dr. Kamikaze is a good reliable squad leader also. Uh, over here on militia. Kirkley. Kirkley is the command, and I think he's briefing him right now. They're going to be riding in an APC that's run by Squad Three. Squad Three is going to be. In oh yeah, Kirkley's squad letting him know what's going on. The vehicles. Here we go. Squad One is going to be in charge of the two APCs, so they'll have driver for both of those APCs, and then the rest of the infantry will be mounted up in either one. Squad two We're going to listen to Kirkley brief real quick. Driver gunners, uh, and then the rest of their infantry will also be mounted up. And then Squad 4 will be our infantry squad, and will be mounted in one of the two uh, BMPs. Off of live, the plan is we're going to head north from our... We're going to take that first left right there. Then we'll take the right at the next intersection and make our way up to the north to about Radio Tower. At that Radio Tower intersection there, we'll be turning left and making our way towards the bridge in Gulf 6, located there. Once we're there, we're going to cross that bridge and then make our way north as soon as we're across it. Our goal is to get to this intersection or somewhere around this intersection where we get out of those major come down. And what we're doing is going to you're cutting out. push that. Commander, you're cutting in and out. There. Cutting out. Excellent. All right, the commander's no, cutting I'm in and out. But it looks I'm like, for the most part, the militia forces yeah. are going to oh, try wow. and slow down Russia from crossing the bridges. They're not sure where the enemies are going to be located, where they're going to put their... where the recruits, I guess, the recon team are going to go. Let's, let's go over that again. This is Foxtrot the bridge, that's where we 6 and 7. And golf six and seven, so four giant grid squares. A lot of room for them to run. They cannot walk across the river, though. They have to use the bridge or the bridge. So there's two bridges they can use, which is just genius by Hutch to give them two bridges they can cross to move back and forth and and stay out of sight and regroup with their team. Yeah. Uh, yeah just these squad briefing. Pony. Yeah, Pony. Can you go ahead and explain to them? I still got. I got some squad command chat going on now. They're still doing some heavy-duty briefing. I'm all just kind of hanging out. Yeah, they're still, re still regrouping or, I'm sorry, planning. Do you know where your your recruit squad's at, Xbit? I can buzz over to him real quick. I think I'm actually closer than you are to him. I do not see him yet, but I'm moving that way. It's a big map. I'm almost up there. Yeah, All right. All right, well, we know where they are. I don't think we want to give it away yet, though. 
Let's just see what happens. All right, Wish. Hutch, uh, you're getting mighty and puppy skills. Such a big map. So many APC. things could happen. Just, just drive, just drive one APC forward, so I know who's up. All right, I got it. I got it. Oh, we've got to be going live pretty soon. They got to be getting ready. Yeah, Russia's starting to load up in their vehicles right now. I think the couple of squads are just getting some final briefings done. Are we taking the transport? To Over the here, the militia—they're still all gathered on the hill doing some final briefing. It's probably a lot of questions. It's, it's a really big map. There's a lot of variables that can happen. As you can see, I'm coming down, buzzing in on them. They've got all four vehicles they can use on their on the roadway. Moved everything else out of the way. Get them out of here. Yeah, this update to Gordok has really opened up this map. It's got a lot of uh, unique uh, terrain features in it. Uh, a lot of ways to get places and a lot of open field, too. So it kind of funnels, uh, funnels your infantry. If you're not careful, you get caught in open field. Oh, yeah. And I liked it before the update. A lot of people weren't so fond of it. I think performance issues was a deal. But I didn't. I didn't have the issue, and it went really well. I love the map, and now it's even better. It's so awesome. I love looking at the river going through. It's just a beautiful map in general, even just from the top down. Militia is still doing some final briefing. I believe that the command just ran into some slight communication issues, but they seem to be fixed. And if you guys like what you see tonight, you can check us out at squadops.gg. There's a lot of information there. It can link you to our Discord, but there's even more information probably. Uh, with a lot of people always active, ready to answer questions and help people out. Dismount's going to move to us, and they're just going to provide security as we run back. What? And you know what? We've got some cameras tonight. What? I don't know if I'm going to get them all, but I've wrote a few down. Sorry, four, please repeat. So let's throw a shout out to these cameramen. You're going to get a lot of first person views. Uh, from anywhere from command down to the the medics, the the RPGs, anybody, just a regular gunner, squad members, squad leaders, fire team leaders, anything like that. So let's let's give a quick shout out to those cameramen. Of course, myself and Xfit are on cameras. We're going to be the main spectator cameras that you guys see flying around over the top. Our other first person objective cameras, in no particular order, are going to be Jay Remick, Lish. Uh, next is Mighty, Bunny, Merrick, 362. And I don't know, you got any more, pin? I don't have any more. All right, we got Schmitty also. Sounds like Merrick's having some trouble. He's getting it set up. And we also have the Neils. So it's always great to get different camera angles, hear different people talking, hear the reactions. Sometimes, if you can, it's great. It's really cool, especially when we're when we call some action and you, and then all of a sudden, Penn will take it down to that first person angle, right in the thick of it, that even we don't get to see, but you, as the viewer, do get to see. So it's really cool. Militia are fanning out there, loading up in the vehicles. We are going live shortly. Took our time getting briefed tonight. It's almost 7.30. That's okay. So do you know what the Russia strategy is at all yet, Xpin? Are they going to try and get the, get the, I guess, recruit squad, we could call them, or the counter intel? Are they going to try to get them out of there, or are they going to hold up and take their time? Uh Looks like they both loaded up a, a lot of squads in the uh, the APC, so I imagine they're going to push both those down there. I I wasn't uh, I don't know what's going on with the Russians, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they definitely need to get those recruits out of there, and it sounds like they're going to go uh, take the whole platoon down there to rescue them. 
that's good. That's that's going to be interesting. That'll be good action, if nothing else. Yeah, there'll be a lot of bodies down there real quick. We'll see if the r militia can find them and catch up with them before they get there. Or, you know, I'm not sure what the militia plan is. I think they're going to hit the bridges by radio tower, kind of. Uh, the, the two bridges, the one in Foxtrot 7 and the other one in Golf 6. Try and slow them down there and probably push across to try and slow them down and just, just get in there and kill the the recruits before they can. But I don't know. I'm not sure. And I did see some marks up near uh, the Xfil point too in Echo 3. So We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're going to be live at 129. That's three minutes from now. You guys know what to do. Copy that. Chain of command, just squad one, two, four. If you go down for one reason or another, we'll take this opportunity to listen to command. Yes, and local check. How about me, the gunner? What do I have? Like a fucking ball cap. You got a helmet on. Fuck, I'm like a turtleneck. Are they Adidas? Are they Adidas? They are. Uh, I am Jordan. no true slav if I don't have Adidas headgear. Curse, you ever dated anyone in a wheelchair? You don't talk about my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she broke up with me because I was pushing her around. <laughs> Alright, I think I got it a little bit better, but yeah, live is still 129. She's gonna stood up for herself. <laughs> Well, should it be hot to have sex with someone in a wheelchair? I don't know if it's hot. Color my, my little to... sex machine, my R2-D2. Jesus Christ, man, that's just wrong. What are you prejudiced, bro? Just do it. Alright, here we go. I think we're back on Xbit. He's on the location of the recruits. They're on the railroad bridge in Foxtrot 7, keypad 4, I believe. They're on the railroad bridge. They're going to hide there, wait for X-Phil to arrive. In the meantime, Nitz says, I wish bridges were more important in vanilla. It would be nice if you could cross rivers, but it was a risk. It, I think they made it a little more of a risk by making you vulnerable while laying down in the water in vanilla. But it's still hard to cover that much, especially when there's only certain points that are, are really viable to cross when you're capturing a flag or something. Maybe if they made some of the rivers deeper or uncrossable in certain areas, that could make it a little bit riskier to cross in vulnerable areas. Maybe a physics that carries you down the stream. Well, yeah, or even just not being able to cross because of depth. Yeah, that's They're burning rubber in these tracks. Yeah, these tracked vehicles are uh, a, f a blast to drive. They get all skiddy. Oh, they do. They're definitely a little rough. Take a little practice. I'm not the best vehicle driver anyway. I don't have the best luck with vehicles. But let's see here. 
their whole whole team just driving up in APCs. Got the techies behind them, rocking and rolling. They're motoring. We're now on exit, watching yeah, them we're... position. It looks like the uh, Russian commands dismounted at the Xville location at the apartment complex. And we've got one APC heading on the north MSR. It looks like the uh, second uh, APC is heading south, MSR, so uh, and this possibly may be the uh, squad responsible for getting the recruits out. Now the whole militia team still in that convoy of four vehicles, rocking and rolling up the road. They're actually doing a pretty good job of looking good doing it. Kirkley's telling them to take not the railroad, the road after the railroad. They have abided. Just a big map, river running everywhere. Reminder to be careful crossing the bridge. It's probably really hard to see, but way out in front of me. Actually, I could probably zoom in. You could see the four recruits way over there. Good idea. This bridge is the death of many vehicles and pubs. Never mind on ops where you can't get them back. And we'll back it up. Yep. They're crossing the other bridge. I'm watching right, or I'm watching uh, south. Let's see which way they go. Waiting for county. Yep. Any visual on contact? Negative. Negative. All right. All one right. MTLB went Get north, the other one did as well. Two techies are following. The techie is a Dishka, and in the back is a SPG recoilless rifle. Congrats, we didn't flip a vehicle. All made it across the river without right. flipping a vehicle. They seem to be excited about that. <laughs> Always the challenge. The far front vehicle has Bunny as the gunner. You could watch him probably engage early on. If they found anything yet. Oh, it looks like that north APC is dismounted infantry at the bridge up there at Hotel 2. The southern one, it's moving towards the uh, recruits using the railroad tracks right now. Oh, cool. So you got one squad up at the far north bridge, and the other one I can see pushing towards the recruits. They're going to get there with no trouble at all. The entire militia team is still together. Where's the rest of the Russia team? Do they have someone on the north bridge and and then down pushing towards the recruits? Yeah, they have a full squad down to the south here. They're just dismounted, and they're heading towards the bridge, the train bridge. And the northern squad is... Uh, uh, it's just sitting up on the uh, western side of the bridge, I guess, maybe to ambush any vehicles that would come across. Very nice. You can see Hutch out in the lead, of course. Oh, and you know what? He For being out in the front a lot, he survives for a long time. He's a good leader that like that. You tend to die when you're a squad leader or command. It's It's part of how it goes. Wanting to get in there and and be in the fight with your teammates and lead the way, building confidence in them. You know, it looks like the entire militia force is pushing straight for the Xfil location. We're almost to the Xfil. All I can see is a couple of Russians on top of the silos. Yeah, pull security. Anybody non driver gunner pull security. Uh -huh. Steady position because I don't want to die. MG Techie's moving forward. SPG Techie hold. 
just do it every Creeping day. and Krusty the Sailor are the two on top of the silos. The militia techie drives right by. They're not even seeing him or shooting at him, I don't think. I want that. Get that SPG techie pulled up. Yeah, they just called it out. Oh, perfect. So they're, they're spotted now. Pull them up with the rest of the armor. In the meantime, the rest of the militia forces have pretty much dismounted. That scout who's down there, if he can get eyes on both the radio tower bridge. They've got a lot of ways to go, though. There's a lot of open ground they got to get through. Copy. I need that, I need that MTLB to get there. It's no mind. It's code Android. Yeah, the Russian uh, command channel is really talking right now about all the movement up there. Oh, yeah. How are they doing on the recruits? Uh, looks like a fire team just got to them, and the recruits are now uh, exfilling off the bridge back to the uh, APC. They're going to be good. Creeping and Krusty are actually firing. Oh no, somebody is. It looks like. Oh man, that militia techie is done. They're done. They yeah, just lost a fire team up here. This is Charlie A. Fitango. That's Ben Bot Squad. He's lost four already. Two. Break contact if you can. Make your way back to the north. Just break contact and be Their techie is alive, but there's uh, an enemy MTLB right in front of him. Ben Bot is the last remaining guy. He's the squad lead. Try and stay alive. Let us know if they come back on that road. Lish is leading a fire team straight okay. north of him. Did it put that in Echo 3 Key... Six. CG Start Foo's right behind Lish. They're three, looking three, down. Six, They're going to see Ben Bod in the back Copy command. We've uh, engaged the technical here. Uh, we got two PI here, but I believe. As um, Echo 3, keep at 8 9, enemy vehicle. M ben Bot's looking uphill and he doesn't know that there's five enemies right in front of him. Looks like Phil in the blanks spotted him. No. No one sees him yet. He's laying prone. Just, just hitting enough in the grass. Oh, they're gonna see him move. He's gotta be careful. Oh, he's down. They got him. Well, let's just post it up. Two squads to the south of the Xville with both their APCs. This is gonna get interesting real quick because the uh, the recruits are gonna be coming north along that MSR. That's some great defense by the Russians on the northern bridge there. Really just caught the militia off guard, but the militia are still down at the Xville location with two MTLBs. It doesn't sound like uh, Russians have spotted this, this entire push from the south yet either. I don't think the Russians lost anybody either. No, they lost nobody. Oh no, they did. They lost. They lost a few. Hey, Vaz, I got a huge blind spot uh, from my location here. I can't see Alright, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get word over that. that go ahead and pull forward. The... We'll pull a little further forward on the right. Yeah, be careful. There could be dismounted infantry in the target building. That's what I'm suspecting. Alright, stop that. Not a lot going on now. The, uh... Okay, there's no How are the how's the X field going with the recruits? X bit are they on their way back up? It sounds like they're actually going to take a wide western flank to come back to the X field. Uh, the Russian command has also spotted a fire team on the hill west of the X field apartment building, so they are aware of this militia push from the south now. That is key information there, because pretty much the entire militia force is there now. Pretty much, I yes. Uh, if they're not careful, they're going to actually occupy that building soon, and then it'll become hard for the Russians to get them out of there. All right, we're going to stick at the gas station to the north of the target building. You know, with that bullet penetration, those 
MTLBs right. could really no, they, they could ease the tension, though. It's it's tough. They can go right through those buildings. I was watching during the first stream or first EU session today, and those MTLBs were shooting straight through those apartments. It's always possible. Uh, have them stand on there, keeping eyes on those two bridges, because if they decide to so, turn around and go all the way south again, he's going to be our only warning. For if that. they use that effectively, they'll be in good shape. Since it looks like there's not a lot going on, we'll go over what's been going on. Both both teams started at their main, except for a four-man recruit squad. A recruit squad means they only get two magazines for their guns. That's it. Recruit expert's going to show you the recruit squad. Uh, the recruit squad. They they have no bandages either, so that's a big one. They cannot even bandage if they get shot. So they just hid. They stayed hidden, and they got rescued. They bent there. Now they have to get back up here to an exfil location, which the militia is aware of. And the militia did not find the uh, the recruit squad. So they and they actually rushed through and they made it up here to the exfil location, which is this apartment. I'm showing it right now. I'm right above it down on it it's a three-story apartment it's, it's got a yellow car in front of it that's the exfil so they need to get them back here and then protect it from the militia but here's the militia i'm watching the militia there's blue militia guys everywhere they're on the northwest they're on the east they're on the south uh targets coming down the road won't be able to see it as well however the militia did a good thing and Wiped an entire enemy technical or a Russian technical. Or, or I'm sorry, the the Russians did a good thing and wiped an entire militia technical. I'm on the militia. So that uh, squad that rescued the recruits is now uh, heading north on the back to Russian main area. Looks like they're still going to take that wide flank. Um, so this this will become interesting soon when they get pretty close because these track vehicles are very audible. So. I'll, be interesting to see how the militia reacts to this. Looks like Mighty's in the driver's seat. He's doing a good job of navigating these roads out here. Here comes Odie, Tap, and Schmitty. They're coming up the silos. They're right below the silos. They're going to come up on Krusty and Creeping. They've just walked all the way up. Krusty is right there looking. I can hear Tap and Schmitty talking. They don't. Oh! Down goes Tap. Krusty just dropped him. Odie, Tap is down. Schmitty's backing up. Russian, Russian shooting? Yep, they're on top of the silo. He's, he's not sure what to do. Just waiting for people to climb up. They it's reported though. They Schmitty reported it. They know they're on top of the silos now. Yeah, creeping is just telling command that he may be going down soon because they found his location. I only heard he fired, killed Tap. That's about it. I think it's just they're just on top of the silo. Schmitty has now gone to the south side of the silo. Alright, we're gonna have a sink. I have a recommendation if you want us to move up. Honey, we're moving and out of the. Schmitty's bailing. He says, like, "Nope, don't want to go up there. It doesn't he doesn't know what's up there, but it's it's the dangerous. Story. Really, is to push up that stairway. So he's he's fleeing. We're hearing other good shots. I don't know what they are, or where they're shooting at. That, but... that really that won't be necessary. It's just two guys on top of the silo. I don't need an MTLB to support. We should be fine. Oh, okay. where are they? On top of the fuck silo. Are you visual? There was one, one visual confirmation on it one. It looks like best squad. ponies got the top of the silo it might be more the his man. squad up there. Are both the MDLBs supposed to move now? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, you know what? I know. I don't know if I ever went over my side with Kirkley at command. And his squad leaders are best pony, Benbot, Nasty Nate, and Truth Realm. Uh, do you still want one MTLB to come reinforce squad one up here in the north? It looks like. Uh, if you think you can deal with those guys without support, yeah, that's go ahead and do so, but that is your call. Copy. I, I Crusty the Sailor that creeping that on top. I, I think it might Best be Pony is saying that he can deal with them. He's got awesome. Schmitty, Juan Just Tap, Man, and Han with him. There's four of them. Schmitty's actually falling back now. We'll just see what goes on here. We'll keep looking up here. 
checking the exfil, checking the south. Are they in the far north now? Xbit, where are they? Where's that exfil? The, the yep. root uh, MPTLB is uh, stopped north of the exfil location, so it uh, looks like Hutch is taking a look around to see uh, how to maneuver and get up closer. Uh, command's pretty lively, though, with a lot of contact reports about all the uh, movement inside the exfil location. Roger, too. It sounds like they're going to move oh, yeah, the other good. MTLB from the east and start moving down towards Lish to help support. They have multiple, like, we're being shot at from a few angles up here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna show you approach, mighty right now. Near He's the refinery, the, and we're probably gonna have to move through the refinery as we go down. With the what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this this APC as a long range support weapon system, okay? And we're actually gonna fuck them up in the building that we're in, in the area that they're utilizing for a southern Overwatch that also can see our pause as we go north is an Echo Three keypad eight, okay? There's a hill just to the left of where that lodgy is on the road. You guys see that round hill? Next to that yeah. 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 intersection, that, or that crossroads that's yeah. there, that is <laughs> occupied by enemy. So I want to make sure that we get this APC rounds on that area because he's going to have the best suppression Spinny at it. Spinny and Krusty are shooting about 200 meters back and forth at each other. That's Is that heavier entry moving to engage us or what? That's just one person from the silo trying to shoot me. Neither of them has taken each other out, but they're okay. definitely aware of each other's position. Say again, push the armor. standing up looking for him. Schmitty's creeping up. Alright. Armor push north. Armor push north to the intersection. Head to the intersection. God. In the town. We're gonna God, prevent the Russians from taking that town. Krusty's looking westish. Now he's looking back south. So that's our only defense south in case those vehicles come up. Oh, creeping's down. Creeping went down. Command for Russia is now down. Yep, Hutch just took over. He's asking for a SIP rep from all the, the squad. Right. Alright, we're gonna listen to Lish. Between you and the objective, try to keep break line of sight. I hate when we're like Copy going to use Chelsea and then I hear an MTLB where, where just Contact Sarge pushing back on this objective area. 12 o'clock, what direct? Or do you want to go try to relink up and go north? Alpha key pushing up where that contact was. Clear that air. Kirkley's yeah. got scouties. Reported enemies. He's running away. Yeah, that's Lish's squad. They're moving south. Uh, they're hoping to get a flank without being seen, but that's not going to happen now. Yeah, they've already they've been reported. And they actually hit Kirkley. He's running away. He needs to get a medic. Sounds like he's hurt bad. They've got a good push coming in. One is to the east, another one's to the southeast. Roger that. Four, I recommend I, I hold my yep. armor and try and lure them. And the armor, militia armor, forces are in to the good the position. Town. Copy, Roger. Them back to the We're gonna try and lure them in. Bait them in, bait them in. Stay close MCLB's to each other moving. and stay with interlocking oh, with Schmitty's, fire. Schmitty's sneaking up the yeah, one silo, he's gonna look across. Krusty's on the other side. Schmitty knows he's there, he was shooting at him. I only see one. One infantry dismounted. I think it's Copy. a scout. Schmitty takes him out. Krusty was a squad leader as well. But there's an entire squad to the west of Schmitty that he doesn't even know is there, which includes the recruits. So there's four guys in there, I think, that have just two magazines. 
Yeah, that's Hutch's squad. Uh, right. We're tr trying to get eyes on the silos. Um, and and Smitty's on the silo. He is looking everywhere. He's got the AR, so he won't be afraid to lay down a bunch of fire if he sees enemies. He's the only one around here. Best Pony's got a couple guys just to his east on the tracks. Is that it? Somebody else is right by Xville. Let's let it cross your field. Kill engines. Yeah, kill your engines and let's let's go for the ambush. It's er, no, it stopped. It hurt us. It hurt us. Yeah, it hurt us for sure. Oh yeah, I think it's. I'm I think it's Hutch's full get, squad you guys informed, but get, get, pushing his way in. Yeah, he's got a fire yep, team. On and, one oh, side yep, fire team I see the. the you're right. I see the recruit hey, squad the way in the back. back. They've got the track supporting them. I'm north. I'm north. That, that's mighty. That's mighty. Mighty. You're, you're driving. It. You're, you're driving it. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Cool. I don't have to keep four in there. Beautiful. All right. So two currently. We're moving up north to south. You see that hill? Forty-one to the southeast. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna get into a spot where we can hopefully shoot over your guys' heads. Yep. Yep. That's like command box. Kirkley is ordering reorganization of the vehicles. Let's see how they do. It looks like they're going to be heading to the west. All right, Mighty, let's start moving up that vehicle. Oh, they're going to run into them. They might run into it. We might see contact on accident. I'm still pushing to engage. I'm coordinating a two MTLB like massacre team. I thought he told them to go west farther. But we might just see them. Oh, there we go. Here's a fight. Bunny and Gore-Tex getting shot up. Oh, they got the other one. Nope, nothing yet. Lighting them up. A little bit of hitting going on. Bunny and Google Trex are really hitting. Oh, it looks like they got it. They got the MTLB with the SPG. Great SPG shot by Elsa Browski and Curse. Great shot. Mannix is still alive over there. He got out in the nick of time. That is a big blow to the Russian team for sure. Yeah, that was. I didn't even know they were over there. You can go ahead and pull that Southern Scout. Have that Southern Scout start making his way back to the north. Oh, there is still an entire squad to the southeast, and at least an entire squad to the west here. This is anybody's game. There's not really been that many casualties yet. Okay, it appears Best Pony has just reported the squad that is right outside of North... Northwest right, of silos, you call them back. far west, back. so I'm not sure they know that they're right outside. I cannot yeah, there's an entire fire team next to the Maybe silo to the north, so I don't think they've seen them yet. Yeah, that's going to be, that could really catch them off guard. Kirkley's down, they've lost command. Sounds like militia's moving all their MTLBs around to counter that. They are. They are one of them. They were pushing towards Mannix. Mannix is still up by himself, up with the first MTLB destroyed by the Ru or for the Russians. But the other two MTLBs are just rocking and rolling. I think they're just patrolling. Not sure. They've also got a techie left as well. They've got, yeah, one SPG techie, so they've got a good chance to take out the other MTLB. And if they're able to, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt the Russians. Mm, yeah, get in death late somewhere. We're, 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 highly we're, covered on our, we're covered on our east by this house and fence. So we can uh, engage west, north, and south. Echo 1, keypad 1. Echo 1, keypad 1. MTLB, PID. Raj. It's now Echo 2, keypad 7, to turn south.
you know, I can hear some stuff in local, but I'm not, I'm not sure if they can actually see them. They just know they're over there. They're not sure where. Yeah, Russia's playing this real surgical. They're taking their time moving up and scouting air all the corners and position. And their southeast squad, their squad to the southeast can really, really catch them off guard. They've got a full squad down there still. Lish's guys. Stop, 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 stop moving. Contact, visual. Stop, 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 stop. Uh oh, looks like they oh, just there comes contact here. They got hit by something. Must be trading back and forth, Jay Remick and Fulcrum. They're slinging bullets back. Yeah, there's the, I can see it back there. It's shooting at him. Oh, it got them both. Nice shots by the other N the ST, that H, that MTLB. Who's in that? I'm not sure who's, who that is. Looks like Puppy Skills and Mighty. Yeah, right up on Puppy the corner Skills there. Has got them. So they're, they're in good shape up there. Still got another vehicle. There is an SPG-9 as well. They've got the recoil as rifle running around on the militia side. Oh, Nasty Nate goes down, takes a domer. I think Puppy Skills is just wrecking shop in that gunner seat. They're doing good work. Hips and Nips is alive still. Rush is kind of surrounding the exfil point. I can see one top man. One tap man is down. Han is down. Mannix dropped them both. It's not going good for the militia forces. And you know this is how it's go this is how it went in the EU session. The militia came out strong, looking really good, and Russia just kind of surgically picks them apart at the end. And the southern flank just really caught them off guard. I think they lost Lish, but do they have a... I don't know. Do they have a rocket at all? It's hard to tell. You can hear still lo You can still hear local talk by the militia, though. Yeah, it looks like they still have a uh, lat kit in militia squad up uh, server four hundred four. Oh, that's good if you can utilize it. Merrick is so close. I don't know how El Sabrowski does see him. They got so much cover. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful cover locations. Actually, Merrick's bandaging himself. That grenade did catch him with some splash. Elsabrowski's going prone. Nobody moving. Oh, Mari eats kids. Take a shot from Elsabrowski. Is he going to get him? Oh, nope. Elsabrowski goes down. Doing that, we'll take the build. They're fully aware that there's at least one enemy to the uh, east. There's Probably two, though. Corner of the fence count Americans three. Everything else is blind. Okay. Russians coming in hard. The rear, it's the usually the other way around, where militia is trying to push in on the Russians at the end. Okay. But look at this. They're gonna be coming from your northern Let's flank. See what I can find here. I'm gonna lock Nate that over that eastern here. fence. MTLB okay. is still up, Rex. Oh, I don't see Bunny. Oh, Bunny's in the. There we go. Bunny's in the MTBL. MTLB, sorry. Whatever it is. And Merrick is straight through the building. So if you can see both of their cameras, they're within 70 meters of each other. Probably less, about 50. Just a Ooh. building separates them. Merrick's doing a good job. He's pushing in slow. Stayed prone for a long time here. I can hear a lot of good local chatter. Bunny, Curse talking to each other. Google Trex. 
They're all communicating very well. That's all they've got right now. Command chat has gotten significantly quieter, though, because a few of them are getting popped off. How's the command chat on your side, Expit? It's very active. Uh, Hutch is moving a flank to the west to get on that hill to the west of the Exfil building, and uh, Lish is trying to coordinate so they can pinch the, uh, the militia inside the compound at the same time. Well, it's got a good chance of working that the militia are the My now on the defensive big time. Like, I'm looking at incapacitations here, which is basically deaths in that they're doubled. The Russians have 16 and militia have eight. So we're going to we're gonna see the militia pull the Alamo here. And that's about all they can do. Keep eyes on that rock to our it's right still pretty side. quiet on the good, good. northwest side, though. Not, not a lot of movement. Because the militia are all focused to the southeast, because so that's where they're getting pushed from. Rock. There's not a lot left. Um, Two, four, six, eight. Eight militia force left. Eight left. Enemy gunshots to our southeast. Yeah, enemy gunshots southeast. Uh, nine. Excuse there. me, I'm nine. Sure he's alive. Tunnel vision will kill you. Uh, ZOZ, the 30 millimeter is actually it's BTR. That's BTR variant. Trying to find. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we'd call it the 30 mil or something like that. But we haven't we haven't got one incorporated right, into the events yet. Anything, just let me know. Roger. Especially vehicle, I still have two RPGs. All right, Mighty is pushing in from the west side on the MSR on the main road there. They've got the refinery kind of to their northeast. And everyone's just moving in slow. Hutch has brought a fire team forward to the front. It includes Big Yes, Hitchens, and Sexy Summer. You might be able to get eyes on that MPTLB to the south there. Yeah, they're on the hill. And you know what? There's still one militia guy. Who is that? Schmitty. Schmitty is still on the silo. The up to the north. He's looking way to the north, so if he looks the other way, he might see him. But they're all to the south of him now. They've all got past him. So I don't know. I don't know how they did, but they got past him. And he's still looking to the northwest. That's kind of funny, actually. I just got to verify. Yeah, he's looking west now. He's kind of snuck by him. I've got audible outside fence. He's now he's looking north. He's coming back. Oh, he's gonna come down. All right. Oh. Oh, there he sees him. He's shooting down. Yep. Yeah, he just goes down. Hmm. They got Schmitty. Bummer. That could have been a good little push by Schmitty. They tapped him. Oh, someone went down though. He got somebody. Oh, is that the... Nope, I thought that was the... Squad, it's not the squad. Well, Merrick's still behind the tree over there, prone as hell. Bunny's APC slash MTLB NBST. Yeah. Acronym city. Oh no, nope. going right back to where he was. So he did move, but now he's back to right where he just was before. So. It's been like a stalemate over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, he just took a rocket right over the top of him. The position, the Neils uh, just heard a rocket go flying by him. He's got some company. Now I can see the recruit squad. Yes, they're with so there's on gonna the be. Seal. Yep, there's going to be a few of these guys that are going to try and stay out of sight. They do not want to get shot. Oh, down goes somebody. Yep, Hutch just That was down. a squad leader, Hutch. Okay, he was assumed command. But we have Sexy Summer, Big Yes, Hitchens, Faku, Sirloin, Dr. Kamikaze, Pugachev. 
couple of them, a few of them, maybe four. Yeah, Faku. Yeah, all four. There's four. Faku, Sirloin, Dr. Kamikaze, and Pukachev. All yep, four recruits. St still alive. Okay. Oh, I see another. And as much as... Oh, Sexy Summer takes a shot. Yeah. Tried to go get a view from Hutch. Where yeah, Hutch went was, down, he gets goes down as well. That was their lat, too. Ooh, that's rough. I mean, that's a good reason why he was going to look over there. Try to get a shot. I have no eyes yourself and so And I'm still right above the Neils. Okay. He's kind of waiting them out. And we're down to two, four, six. Six Russians on the west side. Four of which. Oh, no. They've got they've got they've got an MGLB on the uh, over there too. So I guess they have eight left, and half of them are only recruits, but they do have the vehicle. Enemy armor west, west. Uh, northwest. Not to mention up in the Enemy refinery armor. compound. Uh, yeah. Northwest, north, never mind. Not, not Echo 3, three more. Uh, more. Another small Echo fire team. MTLB is going to reposition. I thought we keep the MTLB. There's two. I believe that Big Yes and Big and Hitchens are the actually have their own bandages and whatnot. Oh, we're full fledged stalemate. I think Ribbit. Or I think Merrick 362 died. Yeah, I think yeah. Kahuna got him. And we've still got Buddy in the MTLB, Google Trex, and Cursed. Yep, Mighty and Puppy Skills get... are getting intel on where that other MTLB is, so they're trying to position themselves to get it. Okay, so you're talking move around to the south and east? Yeah, That's a very that. beautiful thing, just having a little patience. So we're going to maneuver the... Creeping in to get the shot. A few meters here. Uh, no, Deadly Seal, this is the first round. Okay. It's moving. I got no visual Keep from ears. here. Keep ears. Oh, nice. ZOZ is teaching us some stuff. He looked up the the variant names and stuff. And there's a 30 millimeter version of the MTLB and the BTR. Which is awesome. Yeah, if anybody wants to jump in for round two and you've got SOTT basic done, get, get on in. We got room. There's room tonight. Turtle Guy 5 light laying straight through a bush. Bunny's looking right at him, doesn't even know he's there. And I'm sure Turtle Guy, I am sure Turtle Guy knows he's there because he heard him roll right up there. And if you haven't heard these MTLBs roll up, they are loud. That's the MTLB, and he's firing like no, north. No, I don't think so. West. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit! They got blown up. I missed it. That is gonna really hurt the militia forces right there. Now we have to wonder if we have any rockets left. Let's take a look. It looks like OD Tap was a rocket. Shelbs was a rocket. Hips and Nips was a rocket, and that's it. Yeah, the Rus the Russians have heard now that the uh, the MTLB is down, so they're pushing theirs in from the north pretty hot. Oh wow! I think we're down to three militia: Silas, Musket, and Alpaca B.
the uh, X-Track building now. Get reloaded. Here we're not reloading. Yeah, we're moving down the X-Track building. Oh, and the Neils. The Neils is still behind the rock. He's been behind this rock since the first initial contact from the west. And they've all gotten around him. They're all going around to the north. Right there. There's the Neils right below me. He's got two guys west, Big Yes and Hitchens. They're on their own squad. Here's, here's the four. Dr. Kamikaze, Faku, Pugachev, and Sirloin. The four recruits are pushing their way in. They got a rough one, but look, just to their north, Puppy Skills and Mighty in that MTLB. That's going to cover them because there's no more militia vehicles left. However, there is a best pony in the exfil. Yeah, I can hear you, Silent. There's enemies to the south. Looks like they're taking shots to that. Oh, Alpaca B goes down. Street. Someone drops Alpaca B. There's a lot of Russians to the north. Dude, they the seem to be a little more worried about South. Musket got hit as well. Muska's bandaging himself. Muska's, Musket and Silas in this eastern building. Best point in the western Xfil point. Oh! The Niels, oh Niels goes down. Big yes and Hitchens got him. Or perhaps someone from the east. Puppy Skills is just lighting the building up. He knows about the bullet penetration. In the meantime, more Eats Kids is coming in from the south side. I'm sure there's more. Yep, neuro neurological. Neurodigital, sorry. It's a rare 404. Building, or is that not um, we're going to have to. So. Russians smoked the street. It looks like they're trying to push into that building now. Yeah, they're gonna creep in. It always slows down a little bit in here. Everyone's afraid of peeking in the corner, getting shot. Be real patient. Okay, so get stacked up and ready, and we're gonna light the top of the building up, and then we're gonna peel off. And but you never know. While you guys clear the stairs. This NSB or sorry, the MTLB could just shoot up in there. Yep. If they see him, there's a good chance they could drop him. Looks like the recruit squad is crossing the street. They're gonna stack up outside the. Uh, oh, someone apartment. just went down. Someone just got naded. Hitchens goes down to a grenade. I don't know who got him, but it's good. Musket goes down. Looks like the and TLB probably got him. I'm not sure. But... Looks like Dr. Kamikaze is leading the way up the stairs. Pony, are you alive? Let's see how. Let's see if Hi Silas can hold this. Here it comes. Oh, more Eats Kids drops him. We are down to our last man, Best Pony. He's going to give it his best effort. He's, he's got the stare. Dr. Kamikaze comes in, eats a half a meg. Pukachev drops him. That's a good game. That was a very surgical takedown of the militia. You know that it's beautiful because it shows that even if the militia just rush straight to this point, they have to still outplay it. That was a good round. That was a really good round. And and you know what? It seemed like this almost every round. We've done three of this uh, this updated fish hook so far and it seems like the militia come in they look like they're in position they have the firepower everything's going their way and then just wham russia takes it over that's beautiful it's awesome it's awesome to see it go that way when when things are kind of dire but it comes back and it, it it turns out who's actually who's it's dire for who now so it's beautiful to watch that especially when there's no optics and you can't blame it on the, the more optics and the superior firepower when they all have the same vehicles and stuff like that so big shout out to Hutch for making these operations pretty equal and a lot of fun and coming down to to really just how you play it out. And and that was only round one. Heck, we got another round coming. We're going to have round two of Operation Fish Hook here on Gordok in just a minute. You know what? We're going to throw shout outs at the end of round one, though. First of all, to Xbit, my co-commentator right here, say what's up. 
What's up? <laughs> yeah, at the cameraman pin. He'll never talk to you, but he's there. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, commanders, Kirkley, creeping, obviously. Always a big deal to step up and, and command like that. It's awesome. What else? Our squad leaders, Best Pony Hutch, Ben Botlish, Nasty Nate, Krusty, Truth Realm, and Dr. Kamikaze coming through in the clutch. Squad leaders, always a big thing. They, they have a lot on their shoulders. They got to take orders from command and respond to, you know, their squad's needs and wants and, <laughs> and requests or whatever. Mostly just give them orders, but cameras are cameras big guys cameras j remick lish mighty bunny merrick 362 schmitty and the neils i don't know do we have anybody else lish all right i said lish pen um we'll take a quick break right after we got to give a shout out to our number one fan mindy thanks for watching